Being in a vulnerable population makes it more likely that you will be chosen as a victim. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of California. Here we're going to see a woman who is victimized by multiple attackers because of her age and probably because of her gender as well. We're gonna learn important lessons here about the danger of being in one of those vulnerable populations, about the importance of force multipliers, and frankly, we're gonna talk a little bit today about the depravity of people. This woman's 86 years old and she has been, uh, she's waiting for her son to come and get her to go to a doctor's appointment and these guys have come up and asked her for directions and she's being kind and giving it to them and they're gonna respond by jumping out of the car and stealing her purse and grabbing hold of her watch and her rings and beating her up. Now, if you go and read the news story, the reason that they're still trying to get something out of her hands is she doesn't want to give up her, her home keys. She has her house keys in her hand and she doesn't want them to have access to her hand. So they knock her over and beat her up a little bit worse. And this guy is just gonna sit here and go to work on her. Now, this guy coming by in the car right here is actually her son who's come to pick her up. Again, all that information is in the news stories. I've linked them in the description. Please go check those out. And when he yells at them, they're gonna run off and he's actually gonna back up and bash him with his car so that they've got some damage on the vehicle to hopefully be found. Let's go back and think about some lessons out of this one. First of all, again, I'm not gonna tell you that an elderly person, an 86 year old woman has to be, you know, Bruce Lee or whatever. However, teaching your elderly parents to maintain distance from potential threats is important. Notice here that she's kind of in, you know, social space and not public space, so she's only a few steps away, and he uses that to launch an ambush. If she'd have been a couple of further steps back and used a louder voice, she might have had some time. Now, I'm not gonna say she's gotta be a, you know, a, a crazy self-defender here, and certainly a tool in her purse wouldn't have done her any good, but in an environment where she didn't know who what was going on, maybe a pepper spray in the hand might have done something here. Though, of course, as an 86-year-old woman, we're not gonna give her a hard time. She's not really supposed to be a self-defender at that kind of age. So now as her son comes by, I wanna think about what you would do here in this instance. You see mom getting the crap beat out of her, and 86 years old, what are you gonna do? Now, if he's able to get out of the car and accost these guys, he's probably gonna do that. But once he's in the car and he's gonna back up hard to try to hit their car so that they can be found later, well, that does put you back in a danger zone and you don't know how badly mom is hurt. So I would recommend, rather than go after those guys, let them go and go make sure that mom is okay if you can get a license plate or something like that. I think the only solutions to this one are to teach your parents to maintain distance if they are frail when they're in a vulnerable population. Yes, maybe a force multiplier that they have on them and, and ready to go if they need it. Something like a pepper spray in this instance might have been useful, but boy, this is a tough situation for an elderly person to cover their rasp.